it's a warm against their arch rivals Copenhagen. Will they look to? Now that could be an opportunity for A to have some success against Michelin. Michelin have lost one change from the side that lost 1 0 at AAB on Thursday night. And it's a positive one though. Top's gone. And there's a completely new back four with Dion Kuhls, Manreka, James. Indeed it is. It's a poor one. On the floor and play continues with Hoyer here. And the referee is letting play on. Letting play go on. Hoyer. And that wasn't spotted. Now here's Dion Kuhls. Making his first ever start for Michelin. Came over, he's made three substitute appearances, but this is a first start and he's not been helped out there at James sends that up. Across, calls. Clears it from last year to Copenhagen. Those two have shared the last six Super League titles now. Three each over the last six years now. Can Angerson get away? Yes, he can. Gets past James. The cross, the header, and the goal. Patrick Mortensen, far post, his 15th. Well, there's Hoyer playing that down the line once again. James. Well, it's been a wonderful start, hasn't it? And there, James, the Canadian, missed times that, that challenge completely. The cross comes in from Hoyer, and Emil Vilcek of Brombu. of Cabba, Tingaga was there. Dix. Now, here comes Dix. A little bit too close to hand. Pushed it away. Kevin Dix. And in the end, Hansen felt he had to deal with it. If he's ever hit one better than this, you just can't hit it any better than that. His second Super League goal of the season. His first. You've got 12 for Silkeborg before being transferred in January to Michelin, where he's added another three. No Swede who's really emerged since the uh, lockdown, really. Nil-nil draws all round in the other games today. This one. Yes! Yes! Of course, going that forward. And it's not hard to work out the reason for Michelin's success this season. It has been their defensive strength. Only 20 goals conceded. Did really well there. The one time Adelaide United man. Deal, of course. Just a twist. It's a two on two once again. Ankerson linking up with Torst Tyson, who takes it all on his own, and it's deflected away from James, who started the problem. The foundations for Michelin this season really have been laid down by Ericsson. Now, will that come off Torst Tyson? No, it won't. The Iceland has done well. Let's see if Michelin can respond. Canada will give chase. With the header to safety, Dix came back and helped him. Now, here comes Kevin Dix, the Fiora, Fiorentina Loney. Threads one down the line. Hellenius will willingly chase that, keeps it in under pressure from Nikolais and gets it back to Dix. Dix sends in the cross, it's over hit. Jakob Ankerson was the target. Dion Kuls continue his run. Come here, come here. And uh, gets it somehow through come, come, come. to Kuls, who is then. Wait. Raw Bloomer beautifully. And then Fed Dix, who's got some space. And Beal. Try again, try again, try again. Need a counter attack, which could be why they've had such success against some of the bigger teams. Man whose cross helped produce the first goal. Didn't move on Yeka. No nonsense, cools. Which is why that was played out. Well, 
12 in this Super League campaign. 37 goals in four league matches after this, of course. Thanks to Angus and Industry. And they'll have to deal with now the long throw man. Target. Big Tingaga, you would think. Oh, what can Dix do here? Threads it inside. This is promising. Tangling, Evander missing out. He did such damage from the corner before. Sends in the Didn't quite get the head of where he wanted it to go. If Mitchell were to get the third goal of the match, it would change the complexion completely, of course. Dix clears his. Nicely done. Here's Ankerson. Sends it across. Is there anybody there? Just get it through. Hansen at full stretch. Not sure it was going to get by James. Well, that really would have been a collector's item if Frederick Tingaga had scored. Meanwhile, colleagues in this current back four. This is his seventh start of the campaign. Now, his license had to be alert now. Here is Kuls and Frank Onyeka was back there helping out his back four once again. Mabil has been from what's been a very, very entertaining first 45 minutes. Kuls plays that one forward and he didn't pay for it this time. Oh my goodness me, and there's another shaky moment. Dion Kuls and Jesper Hansen not even reading the same book now. there. Now here's Kaba. Threat here from Michelin. Usually is an either or. Meanwhile, Kevin Dix is getting a bit of treatment here. He's going to come in for AGF. You know, Monk's guard will be good applause for a man who's really put in a good shift not just today but all season the man from Fiorentina punch is important Bluma first time of biting target there's another one and this time it is enough manages to just pick it up and hits that same post this time it does go a decent punch but it's fallen straight to Bluma a little flick on for is that they may be the champion A huge win for AGF and it makes the race for second place in the Danish Superliga very interesting indeed the early goal from Patrick Mortensen set them on their way an absolutely beautiful first time shot from Kasper Hoyer early in the second half made it two and then with around 15 minutes to go Mortensen again